Only on 7 News, exclusive video Annie Meyer's roommate confronted by Meyer's friends. For the first time, we hear Melissa Miller's version of what happened in the days before Meyer went missing. 7 News reporter Jacqueline Allen tracking this case in the beginning. And Jacqueline, today, police name Miller as a person of interest in Meyer's death. Melissa lived with Annie here, and police today say she's pleading the fifth and won't talk to them. She also hasn't responded to our requests for an interview either. But when confronted by Annie's friends just before the body was found, she had a lot to say. And you guys are freaking ripping me to part, apart. And I did nothing. I loved Annie more than any of you. Melissa Miller, so, Annie Meyer's roommate, doesn't know this confrontation I is on camera. Such, I tried to kill myself. I don't want to live without Annie. But police have said this and woman refused to give them an interview and, and isn't cooperating. When interrogated day, by Annie's friends, though, Miller tells a different story. story. Do you know that every lead the cops get that they say, a tip? It was me. It was me. It was a, I've talked to him nine or ten times. Miller claims she carries around a detective's business card just in case she thinks of something. I don't have it on me right now. And remember Annie's two missing cars? In a surprising revelation, Miller says she had the RAV4 all along and told police where to find it. But tonight, police confirm a neighbor just a little bit further back called in the tip, telling 7 News the truck had been there for days. Miller is the last known person to have seen Annie Meyer alive. I dropped her off. Annie at 6th and Wadsworth. And in an interesting detail, she says Annie had a bloody nose in the RAV4 when she dropped her off. Four times during the 12-minute conversation, she talks about attempting suicide shortly after Annie's disappearance, seemingly tormented by loss and by suspicion. I'm as lost as you guys. I tried to kill myself. I don't even know what to do anymore. I mean, Annie was my whole life. And Miller says she hasn't joined all of the group searches posting flyers like these because she has been looking for Meyer every single day on her own. Again, that video was covertly recorded before the body was found. You be the judge. We posted the entire confrontation in the video section of our 7 News app. Reporting live in Wheat Ridge, Jacqueline Allen, 7 News. Police in the Meyer case updating us on their investigation, saying the remains found in Park County could have been there for five months. That property is publicly accessible, but not frequented by hikers. Annie's family flying to Colorado today, saying they are thankful for the discovery. Uh, we're so happy she was found because detectives had told us we might never find, they might never find her. The remains will be sent away for testing to determine how Annie Meyer died. Her family says that they'll have a service here in Colorado before taking her home to Minnesota.